monkey bread is one of those baked goods that's just really nice to have on your kitchen counter for you to snack on or you could have it at breakfast make it a part of your brunch spread or you could even turn it into dessert and have it with a little vanilla ice cream really easy to make so let's get into this yumminess So we'll start off with the cinnamon sugar. I have some white sugar in there and I'm adding some cinnamon. We're just gonna whisk all of that together. For additional flavor, I'm gonna add some ground nutmeg. This is just gonna give it that beautiful, you know, kind of apple pie flavor. So just stir that in too. Now, monkey bread can of course be made from scratch, but today we're going to be making this super easy. You could use your Pillsbury Grands, the cinnamon rolls, or you could use these, the flaky rolls. These are what I have at home right now, so I'm using this. All you need to do is just open these up and then we're going to cut them up. So just take each piece, you can cut it into four or six pieces. So we need to toss this in half of that cinnamon sugar mixture. You can toss it in a bowl or you can put it in a Ziploc bag, pour in half of that cinnamon sugar mixture and just shake things around. You want to make sure you coat each piece evenly. However you decide to coat them, once they're coated, just set them aside. And then what we're going to do is make a really simple caramel. This is melted butter. It's cooled down and I'm just going to stir in some brown sugar. This simple caramel is just going to be poured on top of the monkey bread and then it's just gonna bake into it it's gonna be nice and sticky and sweet and delicious I'm just gonna be adding a little vanilla for extra flavor and if the caramel gets really thick like this because you know maybe the room is a little cold don't worry just pop this in the microwave for a few seconds just to get it a little um, more liquidy again and then it will be good to go for pouring when you're ready for it Now I have my Granny Smith apples here and they've been diced. They are um, really nice and tart so they work well for this sweet dish. All I did was to add the rest of the cinnamon sugar and then I'm just going to coat each piece evenly. So just toss everything together. So once you're done tossing the apples with the cinnamon sugar, set them aside make sure you grease your bundt pan evenly you can use butter or cooking spray just make sure you grease it nicely so the monkey bread can be released easily so i'm going to start off with those apple pieces that were coated and then i'm going to add the dough pieces on top and then after that you'll just add more apple and top it off with the rest of the dough pieces so apple first then dough pieces then more apple, there we go. Then we'll top it off with more of the dough pieces. So 
so that's good now for the really delicious part the caramel so i popped it in the microwave so it's you know nice and pourable now so i'm just gonna drizzle it all over be very generous because you want this to soak through while this bakes and then it's going to be nice and sticky make sure your oven is preheated to 350 degrees fahrenheit we're going to bake this for 35 minutes after 35 minutes this is it it is going to be beautiful and everything is puffed up the edges are going to be a little bit more firm and then in between is nice and soft and gooey let it rest for at least 10 minutes if you can and then all you need to do is flip it over get a really large plate and then put it on top and then all you need to do is just flip it over then go ahead and lift the bundt pan and then you're gonna see this beauty right here look at that the caramel is so glossy and the apples are you can see the bits of apples in between and what i love about monkey bread is that those edges are you know a little bit more chewy and then the inside is nice and soft because all of that caramelization that went on while it baked just makes it so nice and firm you know pleasantly firm on the outer parts and then inside is just gooey and delicious so all that's left to do now is to grab a huge chunk or you can do a little bit at a time let me know how you enjoy this once you get a chance to make it and if you've made it before comment below and let me know what you like to add do you like to add anything else aside from apples or do you like to just have it without fruit? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.